is uh, after uh, Reverend uh, Mweshwe and uh, Steve Swat, his deputy, tested positive. We now have on the line uh, DA Shadow Minister Sevua Kwarube. Thanks so much indeed for joining us uh, on the line. Um, your thoughts when you first heard this news uh, about uh, the positive test for Reverend uh, Mweshwe, I guess for all of us it's becoming more and more real and coming closer and closer to home as people that we know uh, uh, are testing positive. Absolutely. Good evening. Um, it, uh, the news about Reverend Mishra and uh, and Steve Swart are indeed confirming the fact that the coronavirus um, is indiscriminate in that way and that it can affect anybody, whether you are young or you are old, um, wherever you are, whether you're in the service industry or not. The reality is that we are all vulnerable. Um, and it also re-emphasizes re the point that it is, in fact, the right call for South Africans to follow the regulations very closely by remaining at home, by following proper hygiene practices and ensuring that we spare others and we spare ourselves and we break the infection chain. And so while we wish the members uh, very well, uh, and we have faith that they will recover and will recover well. Um, but it's also a big lesson for South Africans that, in fact, this is a, a disease that is real. And if we're going to beat this virus, then we've got to uh, adhere to these regulations. I believe Mr. Stenhazen was uh, also at this meeting that uh, the president had where uh, Reverend Mesher was also present. Um, uh, what's uh, the next step for uh, your party leader having received this news? As you would know, Peter, um, John, um, the Mr. Sene is, an, is not currently under lockdown like uh, all South Africans. Um, and so the protocol around who gets tested and when is as follows. If you have been exposed to somebody who tests positive, um, in which case those people who were in that meeting, it's very important that you immediately self-quarantine, which he currently is doing, uh, because we are all under um, the self-quarantine while we are all under this lockdown. And so should he be exhibiting symptoms, which he is not, um, then he will then undertake to, to do a test. But it's very, very important that uh, we don't panic and that we realize that if you have been exposed, all South Africans, then you need to make sure that you self-quarantine and arrange for a test should you start to show symptoms. All right. I know one of the things that uh, you were uh, doing quite well during the election period was sending out messages on uh, mobile phones, etc., etc. Is this something that you'll be doing in terms of uh, helping people understand the importance of things like social distancing? Absolutely. I mean, we just this afternoon uh, were hosting on our uh, on on our social media pages um, an information session because what we've done is we've taken the regulations which have been released by government. We've created infographics for members of our communities. Uh, we to make sure we've made sure that we've broken them down into various languages so that they're accessible to all. And we've availed ourselves through social media and other online platforms to answer any questions that South Africans may have. It's very, very important that this information is not just limited to regulation, but actually is distilled and goes to the hot core um, of our society so that people can understand why it's important to adhere to these regulations and why we've got presence of the SNDF and police in, in their communities. And so that is something as public representatives we've got to take seriously and, um, and we've, we've got to make sure that we do our bit as the official opposition to take the message of government directly to people on the ground. All right, Sevira Khoru, we're going to leave it there. Thanks very much indeed uh, speaking there to us uh, with their leader in uh, quarantine as a moment, in fact in lockdown, and uh, we'll be following the necessary protocols going forward. Well, let's uh, now hear from the Freedom Front Plus and their leader is Peter Khrunovold. Thank you so much indeed uh, for joining us.